That's a big one. Swedish perch, the <laughs> one you can't catch, you know. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, quite one too. So where am I fishing now? This is bizarre. I am perch fishing on the sea with a very strange Swedish gentleman who is being very quiet. So where are we, you may ask? Well, I'm actually fishing in the sea. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the town because, um, my English tongue I cannot get around the vowels properly. But what a beautiful place. Okay, what do you want me to throw? I'm gonna use a... Can I try one of these? Yeah. What colour would you recommend? I only have... Something <laughs> dark. That's two. Oh, that's one. That's... I think you should go maybe... Yeah, I think two. you should go with a little spoon in the start if you have that. That's one. That's one. That's... Yeah, maybe just one. What should, I, what should I dress it with? Mm. Let's see. Mm. 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 Motor oil is good. All the way from work. So. Should I steal one of yours? Yeah. What can I have? Yeah, that's a good one. So it's green, isn't it? Maybe What's the matter? Is it too big? Using a chatterbait, barber. Strange colour, but there we go. When in Rome. I take it you can't let it sink, can you? No. Jellyfish. Down here, loads of them. I'm very excited. Oh, Can we land together. Perch. Oh, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> Is that the average size? That's a small one. Nice. Yeah. There must have been a little pot of them around here. Oh, and again. Bastards. Jimmy, what's going on? Why am I not hooking him? That was... No, that was a fish into the weed. So it banged me and then I was in weed. What's going on? It'd be 
seen him noddy. And that's my fish. Oh, it's a good one. Would you like me to net it for you, sir? Is this extending? Yeah. It's a heavy one. It's taking good. It's taking a really good shot. Oh, yes. Really good. It's a real big one. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah, that's one. huge. That's a good one. <laughs> It's a good one. How big is that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's very toothy. It's in Swedish perch. The one you can't catch, you know. You have to set the hook like really hard in here. And then like that. Is that your musky board? Yes, it is. It's a perch board. It's a 49. 49. 49. Yeah. So I've had four or five missed opportunities. Haven't set the hook properly, according to uh, Jimmy, and uh, he steals my perch. 1.88 kilos. That's 49 centimeter perch. That is a lovely fish. Yeah. That's fantastic. Good well done, buddy. Yeah. Good one. It's for me. Oh. Oh no way. Oh. Okay. That is a perch, it's a big one. Feels like a pike. Coming up. Pikes come up. Oh, yeah, no. This has got to be a pike. This is not a perch. Oh, it's a perch. Told you. It's a big perch. Yeah, keep the rod down. Is it a perch? Yeah, it is. That's a pike. It is? That's a pike. Can't be a perch. No, it's a pike. <laughs> it usually, oh, it's come up to the surface. <laughs> Remember to keep your rod down with the perch, otherwise, you will lose it. Really? If they come to the surface, they're gone. They're so powerful. So I'm um, <laughs> minus two. Mm, yeah. yeah. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I thought that was a really big perch at first. Yeah, me too, because it didn't come up. No! Will I ever catch a perch? Come here! Say goodbye. There we go. Well, not quite a perch. Uh, been a good perch. I'd like to report I've caught a perch at last, but no, alas, no. I had a little pike, and uh, my little Swedish friend is uh, thrashing me. Yeah, look what I got. Little feisty one. Look, another 49.
There we go. Yes, at long last. Here we go, my first Swedish perch. 47 centimetres, beautiful fish. And uh, hopefully we can catch a few more like this. So uh, it's taken a few hours, but I've had too many pike and then eventually I've had a beautiful perch. So 47 centimetre perch, let's see if we can get some more. What are you doing? My foot. Mm. There we go. Um, I think was this one's 45, this one's 44. We've been out since first thing this morning, since about half past five, and uh, yeah, it seems to me that these fish are feeding very early on in the morning, but um, beautiful. So we'll slip them straight back. That's early. That's a perch. It's a heavy one, but Did you really get back with? Yeah, I don't... Oh, that's... That's a big one. That's a good one. Here we go, guys. It was uh, at half five in the morning, and I've come all this way, and I said to Jimmy, if I can get a 50, I'll be over the moon. And here we go, this is a 50 centimeter perch. What a beautiful fish. Let's get his fin up, he doesn't want to. No, it's now stopped but, um, posing for the camera. What a beautiful fish. 50 centimeter Swedish perch, and we weighed it and it went 1.92 kilos, uh, and I'll do the conversion later. But that is beautiful, absolutely stunning. That's so, 4.4 pounds. 4.4 pounds. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. So thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome, sir. Perfect. That's made the trip. It was good anyway, but this is visual lifestyle. Right, let's get it back. These last three days, I've been out with Mr. Andy Page in the Swedish archipelago and uh, been doing some perch fishing and we've been uh, using the small wolf shad seven centimeters to 90 percent this time we also got 11 centimeters but they've been going for the smaller baits 
this time. So, and we armed it with a pig hula shad from uh, CVC Catch with Care. They actually been working really good. And Andy has been using the Wolf Creek perch rod, the prototype for that one. And uh, it will be coming out shortly, but with another rod seat than this rod has. And we've been doing pretty good. Andy caught his 50 centimeter perch, but weighed 1920 gram, 1920 grams or 1.92 kilograms or 4.4 pounds even and I caught a few 49s the biggest one 1880 so and we had Andy also got a 50 50 yesterday so he's been improving so it's been an awesome day I don't know what you self think Andy but I think we've been doing pretty well what a brilliant couple of days fishing. It's been hard work because we've been up early, so half past three both mornings. Thank you very much for Jimmy for looking after me. Jimmy's a good friend of mine and uh, this is actually the first time we've fished in Sweden, which is a bit bizarre, but I shall be back because this is amazing. And what a brilliant environment. Seen ospreys, seen eagles, seen so much wildlife, deer. Haven't seen any moose, bit, bit disappointed by that, but um, maybe next time. And what a lovely place to be. So that wraps it up. Fantastic two days fishing. Thank you for watching.